Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to episode 28 of CCO Complete Client Overview. Today we are reviewing the worst client for Minecraft 1.17.1. This episode is brought to you by my members. If you would like to get your skin and name in a video, be sure to join now for as little as $0.6 a month. Huge shout out to everyone that voted. Don't forget to use the link in the description to choose what client I review next. There's also a link to my Discord server where you can chat with other people in the community or get client configs and enter giveaways. Worst is a very well-known client that has its own custom website. The project is also open source and they have a public GitHub repository. To start off, let's have a look at their website. I like the layout of the site. There's a lot of information on Worst, both for the 1.17.1 version and for the older versions. There's a download page, a tutorials page, a contact page, a donations page, and a link to their GitHub. Speaking of which, their GitHub profile has been set up really well. There is information on building the client for developers, there's also information on downloading the client for use. I also really like that they are looking for translators. I think this would make the client more accessible for everyone around the world. Overall, the website is very helpful and the provided information is relevant and actually quite important and helpful when installing the client. The GitHub page has also been set up well and provides a lot of additional information, which is once again very useful. There are a few ways of downloading Worst. The harder and longer method requires the users to build the client for themselves from the official GitHub repository. Worst is, however, a well-known project and I personally feel safe downloading their pre-compiled jar straight off of their website. To download Worst, you need to select the version you would like to install. Today, I will be downloading and using Worst 7.18 for Minecraft 1.17.2. You then need to download the Worst jar file for the version of Minecraft you would like to play on. In my case, 1.17.1. You then have to click the Fabric API button and install Fabric. Please keep in mind this is Fabric API which is basically an add-on to Fabric. This means you need to install Fabric for 1.17.1 and then on top of that you need to install the Fabric API and place it in the mods folder with the worst jar file. You can then launch a new instance of Fabric and the game should load with worst. Worst has a wide range of modules ranging from utility hacks for anarchy servers to PvP hacks for beating your opponents. To start off, let's have a look at some of the offered PvP related modules. Crystal Aura. This module lacks settings. The module itself works, but it is definitely not as powerful as some of the other clients I have used. Kill Aura. Unlike the Crystal Aura module, the Kill Aura module has a decent amount of settings and the module itself works well. Auto Totem. This module works, but it has no settings and cannot be used like offhand. With that being said, Worst lacks an offhand module. Anchor Aura. Again, this module has a few settings and works as intended, but it is not as powerful as the other clients I have previously tried. Click Aura. This module comes with a warning stating that it is more detectable on servers than Kill Aura. The module has a lot of settings and works well. Auto Armor. This module is faster than Kill Aura. It also attacks more players at once. The module itself has a lot of settings. Protect. This module will turn your character into a protection robot that will protect either the closest or a specified entity. Overall, the PvP modules are good, but generally speaking, lack settings. Worst also offers its users fewer PvP related modules than some of the other free 1.17.1 client alternatives. Before we get into the utility hacks offered by Worst, I'd like to take a quick break and remind you all to like or dislike the video. This lets me know if you're enjoying my content. Anyways, that is enough self-promotion, let's have a look at some of those utility modules. Auto Farm. This module automatically harvests and then replants crops while you go AFK. Auto Builder. This module can automatically build bridges and other structures. You can customize this module by writing into the .json file. 
Bone Meal Aura. This module automatically bone meals nearby crops. You can customize what crops the module works on. Excavator. This will break all of the blocks in a selected area. This can be very useful for clearing an area to build on. Anti-Water Push. This module stops water from pushing you. This can be very helpful, especially when making farms or on anarchy servers. Anti-Wobble. This module disables the annoying wobble effect when you're inside of a nether portal. It also removes the nausea effect from potions. Troll Potion. This module only works in creative. It creates a potion with a wide array of very annoying effects for trolling other players. The default key for opening the GUI is set to the right shift key. Worst has a very different GUI from most clients. With that being said, I personally really like it. Please let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. I like how modules are found by searching, though this can also be slower than other traditional client GUIs. I also really like how each module opens its own page with settings and more information. However, for those of you who prefer the standard click GUI, you can actually switch back to it through the click GUI module. This does not unfortunately stay though and has to be selected every time you open the GUI. I also don't like that you lose the ability to search for modules in the default client GUI. There is some sort of HUD editor, but it is not very customizable. There are however a bunch of extra settings that can be found by pressing escape and looking under worst options. Another feature I love about worst is the tooltips and general client info. No other client has even close to as much documentation and helpful tooltips as worst does. In my opinion this makes worst a great choice especially for people that are new to the hack client or play utility mod side of Minecraft. If you run into issues with worse, chances are you'll be able to find an answer or help on the tutorials page or the contacts page under the FAQ section. If you are still having issues, you can email the creator or ask for help in the official Reddit group. Speaking of which, I recently started my very own Reddit group and you should all join with the link in the description. Anyways, like I was saying, Worst lacks a Discord group, but in its place they have a somewhat active Reddit community that can be helpful to anyone experiencing issues with the client. In conclusion, I like the worst client, unlike older versions, I really don't think the client lives up to its name. The project definitely has potential and I like that they are adding more documentation to the client in different languages. With all of that being said, worst is definitely a great choice of client, especially for the newer versions of Minecraft. I think it is an amazing choice for people that are new to hacking in Minecraft because all of the modules have helpful tooltips and the GUI is very simple and user friendly. Worst definitely isn't perfect though, I would love to see more GUI settings added, a custom font mode would be nice, in addition any sort of click and drag HUD editor would also be amazing. If anyone would like to try Worst, I have linked their website and github in the video's description. There are also links to Fabric and the Fabric API that are required to run the client in the description. Thank you so much for watching to the end of my video, I really appreciate your time. Before you leave, remember to vote for next week's episode of CCO with the link in the description. Seeing as you're all still here, I assume you enjoyed the video, so please consider leaving a like and maybe even subscribing. I've also recently made a Kylab Gaming memberships area on my channel, so be sure to check out the benefits with the join button. Quick shout out to my members for all of the support, without them I would not be able to try new paid for clients. Anyways, it has been your boy Kalab, peace in the Middle East.